All right, we might go for a landing here, save some fuel. We're, we're about to run out. Getting a little low on the fuel. This is incredible right now. Sunderland dogfighting. Enemies on my six. We're gonna hold it. We're gonna hold it. We're gonna let him get nice and close. Like he thinks he's safe. Now! Fellas, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're in for a treat. We're playing the short Sunderland at 2.0. This one's also known as the as the British AC-130. We'll see why in a second. But I just wanted to share an absolute dream of mine. I know pretty much now it's unobtainable. There's, I don't think, I think there's only one surviving Sunderland in Florida. Maybe some other examples around. But I would love to own one of these and travel with one of these. I don't understand these gabillionaires and gamillionaires buying yachts with all their money. This is what they need to spend their money on. Nothing else. Don't help the world. Just bring back the short Sunderland and sell them as pleasure, pleasure yachts, pleasure air yachts, uh, flying boats, cruisers. And a lot, after World War II, a lot of these, not necessarily the Sunderland, but a lot of Catalinas and other flying boats got converted into, um, I guess we'll call them air yachts. They were fitted out with beds and you would just go island hopping around and you would, you would bring this into the harbor and dock and go out for the weekend and come back and go somewhere else. See, my thing is, on a yacht, all you do is you just drink alcohol, you sit in the sun, you eat food... And then you go down a slide. This is so much more interesting. I don't get, like, a yacht, in my opinion, is not that interesting. All right? I, I, would, I would much rather have a flying boat where I could travel much faster, much more economical, okay? Because we're green here on, on the Floppy Woppy channel. But just imagine having one of these fitted out, double deck style, with uh, all your friends and stuff. And, like... I would just keep it in ground effect. Probably not. Probably at like 200 meters off the ground. Just nice, low flying. Oh my gosh, that's an absolute dream of mine. And uh, these were actually used as, uh, I think, um, for an airline in Australia up until like 1970s. Uh, so they, they were around, but you know, this is, a, this is a World War II aircraft. If I was a billionaire, I would just build the short Sunderland for myself. It would be amazing. Fellas, thanks for hanging out today. Um, why this is so special is because not only do we have bombs on this, but we have four forward-facing machine guns, which is extremely nice. Now, it's going to be kind of hard to use, but, but, we, but we might get a chance. But why this thing's called the AC-130 is because we have twin 7.7s here. We have a se twin 7.7s here. We have a quad 7.7 here. And we have one, two, we have 250 cows and more 7.7s on the side. This thing at 2.0 can pretty much shred any aircraft that uh, it, it faces. Like, if you're flying a little bit, little bit squirrely, you're going to have six 7.7s on target. Without further ado, guys, the British AC-130. What's my kill distance on this three meters? I'm going to take four. No, I'm going to take three. No, I mean, I'm going to take the three meter one. All right, good, 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 good. And we are inbound. Wow, this really developed into a pretty big game. So here's the bomb bay. Whoop, whoop. How, how does it deploy that quick? That is comically quick. Like, that's not a light mechanism. That's... A thousand pounds of bomb on a rail. Okay, slowing down here. Oh, beautiful. This thing is just, this thing is just gorgeous. It's one of the prettiest aircrafts I've ever seen. 
We've got an anti-air bomb bay door open. Or bomb, bomb, I mean, I guess there's a door. This guy, the B-18 is going in for the same target, so maybe I'll just hold on my shot here. Let's see if he releases bombs. Here, let, let's just get on target here. Okay, that, that, that's looking nice. And let's just watch if he releases his bombs. Yep, bomb out. Oh, out. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Now, the good thing about tagging those things is that I think they can't stay. No, no, that's a that's the HU-100 I'm thinking of. Okay, good. We got one? Okay, the, the B-18 got an anti-air. We've got two enemy anti-airs that's following this P-36. Let's line up. Bomb bay doors are still open. Holy aircraft, we're in Air RB now, fellas. Okay, and let's go for a run. They haven't moved yet. Okay, now, now they're moving. I don't know where the other bomb went. We, we should be able to get one here. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. So what this thing has is it has to be a little bit more level because the bombs have a little bit of a delay. Or like, they don't like being dropped weirdly. That's user error. At the same time, we have a, a P-26 ground strike coming in. Wow, P-26 got, got a kill. Bombs out. A little bit of a carpet. It's looking okay. Yeah, I got one. Uh-oh. Got an enemy aircraft. Let's turn to engage. Oh, the P-26, look at this. This is incredible right now. Sunderland dogfighting. Got a hit, critical. Critical by, by, by the side gunners. Get him, get him, get him. Woo! <laughs> Another enemy. Another enemy here. Oh, crap. I-15. Holy shiza! Crit got him critical. That went... Whoa. I didn't realize we had that mustard. I lost where he went though. Okay, I got him, I got him. Got an enemy? Who's that? I don't know. There's many enemy aircrafts up right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, Chaika! Put the put it out. Come on. Come on, I'm a bomber. Let me come on. Okay, we're gonna put it down in this this. Oh, I've got a fire out of. There goes my. Why does it go out? <gasps> 
No, no, I, I needed that flap. I really needed that flap. It's okay. Nice little landing here. Yeah, this this will be fine. This will be fine. All right, just uh, we're going for a um. We're gonna use ground effect here. This should be a good landing, guys. We we have a good hole. Okay. That was incredibly fun. I wonder what airfield spawn would have been. We have a nice little kind of... This is a giant river. Uh, here in North Carolina, this would be a lake. This is a lake. What, 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 what uh, lake is this? You don't learn anything in War Thunder. See, you don't learn anything. Okay. See how, see how big these bombs look. Cheesy. All right, let's idle that power. I love how in low BR it's just a plain fest. The battles are so lively. Every everyone's enjoying themselves. I don't know. This is like from someone who's played this game for so long. I can see the appeal for like top tier stuff, but like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. All right, we might go for a landing here, save some fuel. We're, we're about to run out, getting a little low on the fuel. Might go for a bombing run, but um, we'll just just land for a little bit and then take back off once the uh, enemy planes are here. Put some combat flaps out. Dude, look at this thing. Oh my God, this is the coolest bomber ever in the game. It might be over by the time you land. We'll just try to do maybe a low pass. We got an anti-air here. Look at this turn rate. Oh my gosh, why do why do boat planes do this? Is that something? I don't know. It's no problem. We're just loiter back around. I think that was something there, unfortunately. Not as many planes as the first game. In fact, no enemy planes at all. <laughs> okay, the battle is looking good. Our team has somewhat control. We have Bravo and Charlie. Let's get those bomb bay doors open. No one's flanking. Who's that? Nobody? Okay, let's level off. That guy, we, we might we might drop on him. Let's just see what's happening here. It's an LVT. He's going for Bravo. He's getting shots on Bravo. Bomb out. There's two there. It's going to be interesting if it can fall in time. They're gone. They're gone. Enemy plane? Friendly plane? The thing is, there could be a lot of enemies, or those guys could easily get right up into Bravo. Bomb out. He, okay, yeah, he's going into cover. The enemy has captured most of the strategic zones. Okay. Well, that one worked. That was an inaccurate bomb drop, but uh, it, it, it worked. 
We've got two more bombs left. One more. Look at how I'm flying this thing. Is this guy still alive right here? Too late for that guy. But not for this guy. Those are 50 cows. They hurt bad. But the bomb is flying. He's not moving. Beautiful. We got one more anti-air over there as well. We could hunt that guy out. We're capturing Bravo. Enemy aircraft's up. Let's get rid of this last bomb so we can focus him. Okay, where are you? This is not the anti-air. Ow, 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 ow. What it will do? Come on, come on, get there, get there, get there, get there! Too far away. Holy, what did I get myself into? We got 50 cows and everything shooting at me. Okay, we're good. Plane looks fine. The Stuke is trying to get out. Okay, the Stuke is gone. Our team is looking mighty strong right now. Yes. We're going to take a victory lap if we can. Uh oh. We got to get part up or something. AC-130 time inbound. Not enough. Not enough good shots. Our plane's still flyable. We're going to try it again. Ooh, I think someone got him, maybe. Uh-oh. This is... This is not looking too good. We're just going to sit up on a final approach. Okay, what's my landing speed? Our is near. This is looking a little bit too low. Power, 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 power. I might just dock at Bravo and cap it. Flaps. Asymmetrical. Pull them in. No, 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 no. Watch. Oh, yes, the landing. The landing is complete. What? Oh. Got you, dude. That would have been perfect. Look at me sink like a boat. Why do I why, why do I have to take bombs? War Thunder, why do I have to take bombs in this? It has forward facing guns. Okay, we've got one enemy plane. He's being chased. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Let's see if we can make it in time for this guy. Ooh. Heinkel's on him. Oh, okay. We, bom Bombay ready? Uh-oh. This guy is just ready for me. Ow, 50 cows. Wow, very accurate. Uh-oh. He's scared now. 
Oh, 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 oh. He hit, he, he hit a pole. We're going in hot. Ready? It's okay. It's okay. We're, we're, we're made out of strong material. Okay, we're out. Good distraction. Enemies on my six. We're going to hold it. We're going to hold it. We're going to let him get nice and close. Like he thinks he's safe. Now! Elegant, Sunderland. Elegant. I feel like I'm saying that word wrong. Elegant. Elegant. There we go. <laughs> Something I was saying like an elegant elephant. All right, let's try to go after this anti-arrogant. He, he's on point. He, right when we kind of lined up for him, he got on the move. So maybe it might be best just to completely avoid him. But let's see here. Bombay door is open. This is, this, is looking, this is looking pretty good here. Got a lot of stationary targets. I just know my luck. Once I get over there, everyone's going to start moving, though. All bombs out. Last one I don't think is going to hit, but we might be we might be onto something here. Oh, no, they're scattering. Look at that. Like little flies. Beep, beep. Hey, we got one. I think I killed that guy last time around. It's, it's, it's because the bombs make Looney Tunes sound when they fall. Now, I wonder how good this thing is. I don't think I can land on this main road. There's too much. There's too many light poles and stuff. But I might be able to land. Yeah, I think I, think I might try to give my, my kill to somebody. We're going to go in for some, uh, some, some close range AC-130. We have no crew damage. I mean, we, okay, no, no crew is out. Combat flaps, asymmetrical, unfortunate. Yes, yeah, this is this is what I live for. Look at this thing's mobility or handling. <laughs> this is sick. All right, let, let's let let's level. A little bit of power here. There's a plane right above me too. Tarnation! Is he still firing that, that gun? How is that pilot still alive? Just absolutely lovely for 2.0. Fellas, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If any of your parents own a Sunderland, let me know. Just DM me and uh, you can adopt me and we can figure stuff out from, uh, from then. Probably one of my favorite flying boats, other than the Catalina. But I, I have a thing more for this underlin. Fellas, be safe. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.